Hello, my name is Michael Lauter, director of the feature film Talent Keyhole. Today, I'm going to be discussing the analog synthesizers used to make the film's music. Before diving in, I want to mention a critical piece of equipment is utilized to synchronize the synthesizers to a digital audio workstation. The Expert Sleepers, USA MO. It's a clever device that allows you to send sample precise MIDI messages to your synthesizers. So let's get into the list of analog synthesizers used in the motion picture talent keyhole. First up, the sequential Prophet Rev 2. This was employed by the band Sizzijix, notably in the bass line of their track Empty Station. Next up is the MFB Synth Pro. This was Manfred's last design, but his first polyphonic offering. It creates haunting atmosphere, and the filters on this are amazing. The next one up is the Moog Subsequent 37. Next up, the Sequential Pro 3. Sizzijix cleverly used the ratchet function to create a driving track for one of the suspense scenes. And I used the Pro 3 for powerful bass. Also, tons of sound effects. It's a sound design workhorse. Next up is the Dreadbox Nymphs. This is a six voice polyphonic DCO synth. It's got some built in effects as well. It has atmosphere. Next up, the MFB Dominion One. The filter on this is amazing, of course, like all MFB synthesizers. Yeah, it's uh, one of my all-time favorite synthesizers. All right, top of the list, the sequential Prophet 10 Rev 4. It was used extensively. I had the Prophet 10 on loan for a couple weeks to do the scoring, and during that time, what struck me is that the Prophet 10 is not just a synthesizer, it is an exquisite musical instrument. We will find them and change the world. Please go watch Talent Keyhole on Amazon. You can buy or rent it now. And thanks for watching this video.